Well, come on in, folks. It's F122. It is round eight. We won't talk about Monaco. Okay. That was last week. It's done. Tonight, another very hard circuit. Another street circuit, but thankfully not quite as fiddly and narrow. Um, I think it could still be a challenging evening. But uh, my goal is still to try and get them points. I, I might not quite, quite be race win ready. But if, if, there's a, if there's a little sniff of some championship points, I'm going to be hunting them down. Believe you me! So tonight, we will take another trip around the race weekend. We'll have a, we'll have a look at how the car's doing practice sessions qualifying and the race um, practice sessions um, there should be three I don't think uh, Azerbaijan um, is a is a sprint um, three practice sessions each of them a maximum of one hour each don't worry I'm not spending three hours practicing although sometimes it feels like it uh, then there's uh, one shot qualifying where um, I do my best to do, and it, 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 it just, just, just one hot lap with no flashbacks. I may have to restart it instead. <laughs> Come on now, um, and and then we get into the race, which is 50% race distance. Uh, works out to be about 45 to 50 minutes of uh, of racing. So I have a long evening ahead. But of course, before we go anywhere, we have to go and see the item shop, don't we? What exciting items do we have in store this week? What things can we buy with our fake in-game currency? Which is rapidly diminishing, by the way. All of that lovely early stuff that, 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 that I was given by just getting in the game, that's gone. I'm getting into pauper's territory here. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, oh, um, uh, the car with the bisexual colors. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, got, the, got both uh, matte and uh, and gloss finish there. Very shiny. We like that. Uh, no, not that. Thank you. This uh, spacecraft slash uh, Klingon style uh, emblem. Uh, peace out. A personal sticker. Just, I'll never get one of those. Uh, <laughs> All your win are belong to us. Oh, the internet. <laughs> hey. Oh, the internet with its with its uh, humour and its memes. All your win are belong to us. Yeah, I'm buying it. 1950 pit coin left uh, and, that, and that's me pretty pretty much all, I mean if I get if I get this thing then that's me that's me done isn't it but look it's so pretty I don't want this I don't think I want that nor that it's personal stickers of balls mate yeah, let's get this. And that's me down to my final 200. Spare, spare some change. You spare some Bitcoin. Not Bitcoin. Oh, that'll that'll be interesting, by the way. We'll get to that. Not not in any great detail, but I'm not an expert. But there is a small detail to point out uh, when we get into the game proper, which we can kind of giggle down our sleeves at a little bit. Uh, pff, yeah, we're done. Bye.
back then to our career mode. I need to put my Twitch focus on so the messages don't come up all the time. Stop distracting me, messages! First of all, let's check in with my position in the Drivers' Championship as we enter round eight. It, uh, look at that, 10th place with eight juicy points. None scored in the last race, but we won't talk about that. Um, let's just look forward, shall we, to this weekend and see if we can do better. So first stop is Team Headquarters. No, um, no car developments due now for a couple of race weekends, so we're in a static phase. Not before we do the Pirelli hot lap. Oh, how exciting. Uh, there is an average speed zone and a, a rival duel. I might, give, I might give the duel a crack. How about that? Uh, any messages? None. Uh, let's just uh, quickly remind ourselves where we are in terms of the car here. Um... On the vehicle performance comparison chart, Mercedes AMG Patronus is now the second most performant package on the grid. Um, after the updates that um, arrived last week, uh, we have overtaken Ferrari. Uh, so that puts the team in a good place. It certainly puts my teammate, Lewis Hamilton, in a very good place. It's this guy here that needs to pull up his sock. R&D in progress. We have a major piece of work, which isn't due until the 24th of June, so quite some time to go. There's our performance chart. Look, all very exciting. Look at look at the lines. Look at them go up in in various speeds and degrees. Okay, something to think about here. There may be component changes coming up soon. Um, I'll look at that in more detail actually once we get to the motorhome, but that is something worth discussing. I think first then we just need to get stuck in with uh, the Pirelli Hot Lap Challenge. Um, I've done Average Speed Zone before. There was even that drifting stuff which was kind of exciting. This time though, um, let's see what Rival Duel is about for uh, up to 1,000 driver acclaim points considering i lost some after the monaco weekend i could really do with this Yow! here we go here we go then uh rival duel am i actually um uh, am I racing alongside one, or will we just be uh, setting a time and, and, and then having to beat it? I'll tell you what I should do. I should read the thing on the side. That would help a lot, wouldn't it? Rival Duel, prepare to do battle against a single opponent in equal machinery. The event takes place over three rounds with varying starting positions. <laughs> Cheeky. Win. Uh, hang on a minute, I've got something for this. Uh, let's try that again uh, with varying starting positions. Ooh. Win as many rounds as possible <laughs> to achieve the uh, best possible medal. Uh, right, so, uh, th so mm, okay. Three rounds. The more rounds I win, the better the medal, the more acclaim points. I understand. Um, different every time. Sure, why not? Okay, let's go. No gambling on this, by the way. We'll get our gambles later on. Um, our regular F1 gambles will be um, qualifying position and race finish. Uh, let's um, smack into driving position. I need to get comfy in the seat and everything. The camera seems a bit high there. Let's bring you down. There we go. Um, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go straight in. Oh, there's a car behind. Well, I'm ahead. That feels like cheating. I 
I think I did. I think I blocked him deliberately there. Hey! <laughs> yes, mate. Can I pick this up? Can I flash back this, or am I screwed? Oh no, I'm screwed though. <gasps> we can just we can just look at my incompetence. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, slow motion incompetence, please. Uh, coming right up, sir. Here we go. Mm, okay, let's go. It was all looking so good. Yes. A bit a bit too drifty. I got uh, I got um I got drifty. Uh, where I really needed um, more straight line grip. Look at this. Crunch. And uh, where's old um Where's old uh, Chucky Orange? There he is. Look, off he goes. <laughs> He's taking the lead, the little jerk. Good start. <laughs> Might as well restart. Might as well. That was practice. This is for real. Let's go. I can't waste too much time on this, but I can at least have one go. Here we go then. Drift without collision would be good. There we are. That's nice. That's better. Come get me. Oh, Tremblay. Tremblaying with fear. I bet he is. Or her, or they, we don't know, do we? It's going for the overtake, it's going for the overtake. No mate, no mate, no mate. Was that sad music? No, it was good music. I'm a wiener. That's one win. So I've got a bronze, they can't take that away from me. Beautiful stuff, okay. Round two coming right at well done first try exactly right. Thank you This feels like the same spot Oh hi there Yes <laughs> I am the best driver. Um, flipping it. Bit of wheel spin there on the pull away. Slightly different. Oh, well, cut the corner. That's rude. He'll take me there because he's had the better line. And then it's. Um, no, no, he's gone behind it. Now, is that for the slipstream or are you genuinely slower? Try and drift it. Get drifty. Whoa, flip. Yay! I think I think I think Tremblay's got this one. <laughs> oh god. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Tremblay is. Right, so the best I can do is is now a silver. Okay, you can have this one. I had my free go. <laughs> yes! That's that sounds like the sad music. There is a difference, okay. Sad sad music. Alright, uh same no, it's the same spot again. Oh, we're side by side this time. Fudge. I think I might have got the better start. Violence. Ah oh, no. No! Ah! One free restart every time. <laughs> I've not trained to drive these cars. They're different. Oh, we're back to round one again. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I didn't realise. So each time, actually, I've gone back to... All right. 
I hadn't realised I've gone all the way back to the beginning. Well, that's that's really cheaty of me. All right, this is whatever happens now. This is for real. No, no more, no more do-overs, Crunch. Oh yes. Like I said, no more do-overs. <laughs> oh, oh. This team is firing me so damn quick. I'm going to be out of a job by mid-season. This game might be over earlier than I thought. Well, if I'm this slow anyway, let's let's goof off. Whoa! <laughs> oh god, let's get this misery over and done with. Flipping neck. Right, okay, round two. This is round two? Yes, it is round two. Okay, fine. Side by side now. Control the flipping vehicle. Right, come on, let's do a good job here. He's cut the corner, he's cut the corner. Johnny's gone behind for a slipstream here. Come on, come on, come on. Do a proper drive now, let's go. The lightest of touches there. That was more a bump than a crunch. We'll take that, thank you. Right, straight line speed. He's in the slipstream. This is going to be close. I've got to try and break the toe here. That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, so we're, we're, we'll be on for silver. Okay, here we go. Right. Final round. Oh, I'm in second. Oh, now I've got to do the catching. Oh, that's bad. That's it. That's it. I spooked him. Monstered him. Monstered him! Or her or they. Bullied them. 100% booly. That's it. That's it. Thank God that's over. Absolutely guffed up. Guffed up round one. A lot, it turns out. As I was just doing the same... Shut up. Doing the same one again and again. However... Did much better in rounds two and three. I would really like to see a replay of... Um, there's, there's Tremblay there, look. <laughs> so this is round one, right? This is me absolutely guffing it up big time. But we don't really want to see... We don't want to see uh, a, a round one. Because what I really want to see... And I can't R1 to save my life here. I don't know why that is. Let's just move this on. What I really want to see is round three. Right? Can I see round three, please? Hello? Do I only get to see round one? Is it? I don't get to see my 
crowning achievement in round three. Baku City Circuit, round eight. Let's get the show on the road. Lots to do. Ah, oh, yes. The long wait. My fave. Wait! Here we go. <laughs> Recklessly, welcome on in. Happy Sunday. I hope you are well. Uh, let's have a look um, at the workstation. Things look good weather-wise here, folks. None of that miserable rain stuff that we saw around the streets of Monaco last week to make everything even worse and more miserable than it would otherwise have been. Uh, we we got a, a, a lot of good weather coming up here, which is nice. Messages. Quite a few coming up. Francisco. The usual stuff. Confirming new developments have been fitted to the car, which we'll be trying out. Um, hopefully we'll see lots uh, lots of positive um, updates, improvements, uh, less uh, feeling like a, a victim on the straights. Uh, we have weight distribution, uh, improvements to the MG UK and the turbo, so that's more reliability than powertrain. Uh, powertrain stuff here is with uh, the um, ERS cooling and uh, the pistons in the engine, don't you know? They're lighter than they were before. You don't want to be too heavy on your pistons now, do you? Here we go. Um, qualifying is dry, as is the race. It's, uh, a patchy cloud, uh, with sunny spells. Um, and then by the end of the race, um, all, all the clouds dissipate and uh, there'll be blazing hot sun there, uh, no doubt, uh, shining its rays down on Skip, uh, claiming more championship points, right? We're going to be positive, upbeat this weekend. We're going to make the good things happen. Let's check in with the uh, car. Oh yeah, how are we doing? This is the last weekend of the rivalry between myself and uh, Alfa Romeo's Valtteri Bottas. Um, 26 to 22, and it's the first to 30 um, who will automatically win the rivalry. So things are looking good, right? I, again, Woeful weekend last weekend. I don't expect the same to be the case this time round. So, fingers crossed hmm, um, that there will be some good motion. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Worry. Um, <clears throat> I'll be dead soon. Let's have a look at uh, the state of the vehicle. As we bring forward the, um, the package from the last weekend, uh, we're looking at uh, an overall wear percentage of 39% with uh, enough laps to see us through the weekend. However, I would like to consider the possibility um, of, of maybe spending um, spending practice one on some older components, if at all possible. Now, the gearbox, which is currently at 63% wear, by the way, um, so that's going to start causing us problems sooner rather than later. Um, I'm going to be chewing through these bad boys this uh, this season. That first one, 85%. We can't touch it. It was too problematic when I tried running on it in Imola. Control electronics very healthy at 21%. The current turbocharger is at 26 The old one, 85 again likely to be problematic so uh, I, I, small bits like this I'm tempted to uh, just leave well alone now the MGUH and the MGUK how are we doing there 65% on the MGUK 
The old H is on 81. The ICE itself... Yeah. Uh. I might go out there for practice one on ICE one. Wear that down a bit, save a little bit of ICU 2's life for the rest of the weekend. MGUK is one to watch because I think that might be close to end of life by the end of this weekend. And we've, we've, if I remember rightly, we were already getting some warnings from the engineer during the last race about that. The other thing was the energy store, um, which... In all fairness, I couldn't fully deploy uh, the extra uh, um, energy from the battery <clears throat> because of the wet conditions. I just there just wasn't the grip for it. Oh, there certainly wasn't the confidence for me um, to use it. Uh, Eighty-one here on the MGUH. Ah oh, man, these these do have a slightly longer life. I might just I might just work with it as it is. Um, 85, I won't touch it. Gearbox... Gearbox is interesting because... I can... I can swap between the four gearboxes you see on screen here without penalty, right? So, say for example, I could run through most of the practice sessions on Gearbox 2, move over to Gearbox 3 for the race, um, which might not be a bad idea, actually. As soon as I get to Gearbox 5, that's a grid penalty. In fact, for any of these, right, you see the numbers there. Those are the allocation uh, you're allowed for the season. If you add an extra one on top of that, you could be looking at, I think, either a 5 or... I think it's a 10, actually, a 10 grid pace penalty per component. So effectively, you'll be sent to the back of the grid. Um, anyway, I think that's enough talking shop, isn't it? Um, things to bear in mind for this this weekend, because we're getting to the point now where um, I'm going to need to be more mindful during the course of the weekend how the components are doing thinking about if I'm going to need to swap something out before we get to park Ferme conditions, which is at the, uh, at the kind of at the end of practice three, if not at the beginning of practice three, actually. Because um, you enter qualifying basically in park Ferme conditions, your car, however it's been set up, is basically locked at that point for the rest of the weekend. So you don't have an unfair competitive um, advantage. Anyway, blah, blah, waffle, waffle, waffle. Practice one. Let's go. And of course I want to go to track. I'm not cheating. I need the practice. <laughs> Meow. You've touched his laptop without permission. It's a song. I've won a nothing. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Leclerc, Perez and Max Verstappen. And if today's practice session is anything to go by, we're in for an exceptional weekend of Formula One. Let's hope so. Okay, practice one. Um, two practice acclimatization uh, sessions, one at the beginning on the medium tyres, one at the end on the soft tyres, and a lot of running around in between just trying to pick up 
a little improvement here, a little improvement there. Turn 10 around the, uh, around the castle, the old town, is a weak spot. Getting that right is key. It's a slow, sharp right-hander. Building speed on the exit of there and setting myself up. For, the, for that left, which will then take me on a lovely, long left curve. Is where... I'm going to say maybe three to four tenths can be found. There are positive signs in practice one, I think. Uh, that with uh, more practice, uh, more focus, less mucking about... Uh, will help a lot. So, Charles Leclerc is our lead driver in practice one with a 144.489. Sergio Perez, very close. Second fastest. Then there's quite a gap, actually, to Max Verstappen. He and Daniel Ricciardo quite close together. Then another bit of a gap. And then we have Sainz, Hamilton, Ocon, Gasly, Norris, Schumacher. Quite close to each other there. Bit of a gap to Bottas and then to me. Uh, a 145.8, my fastest time in this session. Uh, considering I was doing about a 140 in, in, in the low low 147s uh, and, and uh, now I'm in the low 145s, things are, you know, they're, they're getting there. They're getting there. I feel, I feel like I'm making, I'm making progress and I'm not Looking at this, looking at this, and seeing that I'm maybe half a second off my teammate, and within within a decent reach of top ten, top eight, I, it's good. It's positive. I like it. Come on, you. Here we go. So, practice one done. Uh, right, let's um, check in on the um, situation with the car again. Uh, right, there we go. Internal combustion engine is now up to 87%. Gearbox. Nice. I think I will be swapping that gearbox out um, before qualifying. Well, actually, before practice three, I should think. So, um... Oh, hey. Oh. What do I... No, I think I need to go... I think I need to go back. I think I need to go back to... ICE two. I need to I need to make sure that in practice two and in practice three, the times that I am setting are without doubt you know, representative. I wouldn't want to think that an aging ICE is costing me a couple of tenths. So we'll run on to that. And then from practice three, I think I'll be moving on to gearbox three. Before, from the allocation, right? So we'll definitely... I reckon probably by the end of the season, I would have six gearboxes in use. From the four that we see... The four that we see today! There'll be a lot more coming up. Okay. Car setup feels all right. Um, as the weekend rolls on, we'll, we'll kind of get the powertrain and the gearbox and everything as uh, nice and, and, and tidy and as comfy as we can. Um, let's go. Practice two. Let's make this work. Ooh, give me all the things. Do I win a pose? No, not quite. Boo! 
Maybe later. With all the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. Sainz, Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. All right, then. Improvements made in practice two. Uh, uh, making it into the 145s for the first time. Still 1.2 seconds off the fastest driver, Carlos Sainz. Who uh, just seems to be running away with it so far in practice. But eight tenths of a second behind my teammate, Lewis Hamilton. Two race strategy pr uh, programs uh, run in practice two on soft tyres. Um, really starting to uh, make some improvements on navigating some of the slower parts of the circuit. I don't think I'm going to be an expert at them by the end of practice. But uh, again, slow, steady, positive advances forward is fine by me. Slightly disappointing, though, is that uh, my current rival, Valtteri Bottas, three tenths faster. Me no likey. Um, so there's still some more, you know, there's still more uh, time to find. We'll, we'll have to keep our fingers crossed on that. It's still surprisingly mixed in that top 10 there. More cars than I would expect to see. The McLarens doing surprisingly well. Considering that in the real season, the Mercedes and the McLarens in particular were porpoising an awful lot. They were bottoming out an awful lot. It's one of the races of the season where Lewis Hamilton looked, frankly, just straight up injured by the amount of punishment that his spine took during the course of the race. Uh, so at least we're not having to worry about that too much, I guess. Fernando Alonso in the Alpine, fourth fastest. Max Verstappen on soft tyres. Only seventh fastest. Where, by the way, is his teammate Sergio Perez? Was he trying something else out? Yes, he was. He was out there partying on the hards uh, with a 146.1. Uh, which puts him a whole second back from his teammate. Uh, those who dared to run on um, alternate tyres, uh, unsurprisingly, a little bit uh, further down the order. Alex Albon in the Williams, a 145.5. He is out of step there. Good for him. Uh, hard to see him staying up there in race conditions. Um, only two tenths um, ahead. Hopefully I can find uh, another two tenths. When we move to practice three, it will all be about qualifying pace. Getting our ultimate hot lap pace i can't wait uh to be honest i can't wait to get the race underway now uh, i just feel like there's not much else i can do that's going to get me race ready and i'll just have to sink or swim by that point but practice two is done let's go back to the workstation bam We'll take a look at the uh, the situation with the car as well. So it is Saturday. How are things looking? No messages yet. Uh, this uh, this is the situation. So um, in practice two, we moved over to ICE two. Uh, we've put 3% additional wear through that in that practice session, so that's not too bad. MGUK still at, nice, 69%, so that'll see us through the rest of the weekend. Um, energy store 58% should be okay. Turbocharger is looking fine. We are moving on to Gearbox 3. Um, as we got to the end of practice 2, we were starting to lose gears. 
So again, I think we're at the point now where uh, Gearbox 2 becomes a practice gearbox. A lot of wear there in Gearbox 1. We're never using that again. Uh, but I, I'll, I'll do my best to hold on to Gearbox 2 as a practice gearbox. And we're now looking to have Gearbox 3 fitted. Everything else seems to be relatively healthy. Uh, so that is us. Uh, not much else to touch base there on, really. This is the thing I'm worrying about now. If uh, if Bottas is, is going to be significantly faster than me um, in practice and qualifying, uh, he could be catching up. Uh, oh, I hadn't noticed that. My acclaim points after, um, after doing the Pirelli hot lap stuff. I'm now up at acclaim level 10. Yes, man. Good gravy, sir. Right. Practice three. It's all about qualifying pace. If if I've got a bit of time left, maybe a track acclimatization just to just to get the extra points. But we shall push on. And go to track. Oh. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are Gip, Perez and Yuki Tsunoda. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly for more Formula One action. I made a slight mistake, but it's okay. What's that, Steve? What's the slight mistake? You being fastest in practice three? No. Um, what happened was, right, I did, um, I did qualifying pace practice at about the 45 minute mark, right? So 15 minutes of the session had, had already passed. We had 45 minutes left in the session. Everything turned up, fresh set of softs out there. We, we see this time the 143.4, which, according to, the, um, according to the team's plans, would put me seventh in real-life qualifying. <laughs> I need to be in the top six. One off, not terrible. Um, they, unfortunately, wanted to see me at least fifth, which means um, I didn't get the resource points for that. Oh well, let's fill some time doing another track acclimatization on the old softs. Goes pretty well, actually. Um, the extra practice is really starting to pay off. And then I'm hemming and hawing over, uh, what was it, the MG, was it the MG UK? Um, thinking this could cause problems in the race. I probably need to change this before this session ends. I don't have enough time after that change is done to go back out there and do the second of the two qualifying pace practice programs on the other set of softs I have. So I didn't have an opportunity to get out there, have one last go with a more rubbered in track, maybe go faster than a 143.4. Fulfill the criteria set by the practice program and get more resource points. Them's the breaks. But I will take being a whole second. No, actually close to a whole two seconds faster than my teammate. What was he playing at? What was I playing at? Anyway, all good signs. I'm looking forward to qualifying. I'm looking forward to the race. I feel about as ready as I can be. Let's push this baby on. Some good resource points there. How does a, cl uh, a claim look? Oh yeah, here we go. Little baby discounts. Baby discounts. Mm -hmm, tire blankets. Okay. We've already seen that move up. 
nice chunk of driver claim there in level 10. Come on. There it is. Hey, here we go then, back in the motome. Let's check those messages. It's the manager. Do your best out there today. We really want to secure a good spot on the grid. Remember though, Lewis is the main. She's just sent out a generic email, right? She's like, oh, I've, I've, got, I've got all these templates saved in my Outlook. Pre-qualifying template. There we go. 30% please, job done. Right. Nothing particularly special there. Oh, I won the rivalry. We didn't actually see... Maybe that comes to us later. Anyway, there we go. Um, uh, I hope I get uh, a free chocolate bar or something. Um, <sighs> nothing else to worry about, really. We just got to get in there. Qualifying. One shot. This is it, folks. Let's freaking go. So, everything, like I said, everything turned all the way up. Soft tyres, getting up there. Car setup, kind of comfortable with. Let's get that prediction on, folks. Wakey, wakey, it's bet time. It's here. That's the idea. I have something for you. Get your engagements ready, folks. Baku. Where will I qualify? I'm getting bold. Maybe cocky. We'll see. You have two minutes to place your gamble. Will it be a top six qualifying slot? Will I be up there at the sharp end? Mercedes, Red Bull and Ferrari, and I will be with them. Will it be just off? Just off that. Somewhere between 7 and 12. Or will it be a right rotter? And I'm further back. From 13th all the way down to last. Don't worry about it. I'll try not to. We have one minute left on the gamble. One gambler so far. Top six. I think we need to have another brave soul throw in some engagements if they possibly can. Uh, to make make things interesting, maybe, maybe there's someone who's going to put a little bit down on 7 to 12 thinking, you know what? I've sat here for the last two and a half, almost three hours, watching him do this boring practice stuff before the interesting stuff happens. But I, I think he's, he's, he's going to stuff it. He'll lose it around the castle section. He'll lose like half a second. And, that, and that'll, that'll cost him, say, sixth. And he qualifies seventh. The loser. Could happen. 15 seconds left. I'm going to throw myself onto the track. Fingers crossed, folks. This is it. One shot qualifying. Let's see if I can do it in one.
plenty of time to make a mistake. There's the ghost. Any chance of pulling it back on the final straight? Probably not. Will I lose time? It's six! It's top six! Yes, man! I'll have that. Thank you very much. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Verstappen, Hamilton and Sergio Perez. Qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. Let's hope so. Poggies, my dudes, poggies. Did you notice? the point where I was no longer the fastest. It wasn't that first chicane. I did all right there. It was it was after the castle. Got a bit, it got a bit scrappy, especially, um, especially after the long left hander and I rode the curb on that sharp left and then going downhill. I rode that curb. That killed some time. But I'm there in the 142s. Max Verstappen just by six thousandths of a calendar second qualifies ahead of Lewis Hamilton. That's ominous in terms of straight line speed. Because Hamilton had it until, the, until just before the finish line. So that gives you an idea of Red Bull having, having the edge on straight line speed. That that's something to watch out for in the race. Um, the Red Bulls then, one and three, the Ferraris, four and five. In the end, about four tenths between me and my teammate. We've been looking at like between a seven tenths, half a second, sort of a gap between me and Lewis. I think that's just what we're going to have to expect for a while. But I'm in the top six where I really need to be. Can I stay there in the race? That's another another big question. Lando Norris in seventh, Fernando Alonso eighth, Daniel Ricciardo ninth. Um, actually, a ways back, four tenths off his teammate there. Gasly, Ocon, Sonoda, Albon, Magnussen. Where, by the way, is Bottas? Down in 16th, a 143.7. A whole second behind. So, uh, the prediction has been paid out already. Giddy fam, Churi. Um, unfortunately, no one else placed their bets on anywhere else. So you haven't really made anything, but you haven't lost. 
And that's got to be a good feeling in itself, I'm sure. And that is qualifying. Just like that. Bam. It's done. We can get into the race now. Yay. Bit more driver claim. Thank you very much. Hey, here we go. You've got your stake and a half back. What? Cherie lost his points to you? That can't have worked, surely? I'm confused. It's race day. Do not go and take the pawn on the iPad with you. Here we go. We've been putting all the legwork for months back at the factory and throughout the weekend as well. But the only thing that matters is today. Make the effort worthwhile. Race to remember. Blah, blah, blah. Your friend, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Okay. Engine is as good as we can have it, really. 25% overall wear now. This gets us in the best spot that we can possibly be for a successful race. 26 laps. Long laps too, right? Um, I mean, our qualifying time ended up in the 142s. I think race pace is going to be more like the 148s. Uh, so it's going to be a long one. Let's uh, get ourselves all hyped up for the race. Good afternoon and welcome from Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history. With controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and Lance Stroll. Let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Baku City Circuit then, it's an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like. Skip watch. Max Verstappen put Let's in a go. fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Gip, and Norris. Whoa, Fernando fifth. Alonso. Who took a penalty? They've taken a grid penalty. Ricardo Perez. And Pierre Gasly. Ocon, Sonoda, Kevin Magnussen, and Bottas. Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel, and Nicholas Latifi, Albert, and Guan Yu Zhou. And now it's time to head down to the track. And uh, now. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you here with us today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Drugs. Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing oh, to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Oh, there's plenty of time to let you down. 
a lot of time. I could I could lose it at any moment. Sergio Perez took a penalty. Uh, he must have changed a gearbox or something like that. He's five spaces further back than he qualified. He qualified third. So that means I've moved from sixth to fifth. And here's why that might be a good thing. I'm on the racing line. If I started in sixth, I would be on the left-hand side of the circuit. Not as much fresh rubber down that side, and also a lot, lot closer to that left-hand side of the grid where the left turn is. Turn one is a left turn. I'm having to pull myself towards the racing line on the right-hand side before I can take that left turn. I don't have that effort to do here, so as long as I get a good start, all I have to do is focus on going forward and not moving left or right, right. So that would, you know. Max Verstappen, on pole position, is on the same side of the grid as me. Okay. I'm, I'm getting the same benefits he is. So that might be a gift. If, and it's a big if, I have a good start, right? And learning these manual starts has been a trip. Let's have a look at the race strategy, see what we're in for. 44, close to 45 minutes of racing action here. Uh, we have a projected strategy of a one stop. Uh, running on um, mediums for the opening segment and then onto hards. I've not raced on the hard tyre at all this weekend. It's all been medium and soft um, tyres in the practice sessions. The alternate strategy, only seven seconds slower, is um, two stops with an opening gambit on the softs. Can you believe that? Before coming in and uh, running on the mediums. Uh, that will mean that um, when those tyres are fresher, you're having a whale of a time on them, but you can see the difference there in lap times. Um, that, uh, that soft tyre drops off dramatically in race conditions. It's just not a tyre you want to run on. But we're looking at the projected strategy. A lot of work in the practice sessions went into race strategy. Um, so we will have a personalized strategy to view. Is there much of a difference? Well, uh, it looks like I will be lighter on fuel, but it is expected that I will be eating through those tires a little bit more based on uh, personalized performance. With actually minimal, minimal impact on the lap times, but it could be enough. Let's have a look at what difference we see on the alternate strategy. It's, it's, it's kind of the same thing. They're not changing the amount of stops I'm doing. They're not changing the tires I'm running. They just expect slightly more wear on the tires. That's it. Fuel efficiency. If that works out, though, maybe that means I run a little bit faster because I'm carrying less weight. Let's lock that in, shall we? I'm not going to argue. Who am I to argue with that strategy? It's time to place our bets, folks. Um... four options. This is an interesting one. Uh, 
Let's get that bet live for you. You'll have five minutes on this one. Place them bets. Here we go. Five minutes. At Baku. Where will I finish? Will it be a podium? Top three. Will I have some luck today? Or will it be in the next three? Somewhere between positions four and six. So more or less where I find myself on the grid now. Will I drop down further? Make a mistake, get overtaken, but still get a points finish. Somewhere between positions seven and ten. Or will I fall out of the points completely and finish in the second half of the pack? Somewhere between 11 and 20. This is a drastic comparison <laughs> to the gamble that uh, that we had at Monaco um, last week, was, which, which was effectively, how much will I suck um, at, uh, at, at the race, as, as opposed to being a vacuum? <laughs> um, that's not what we do here. Um, however, it is now at the point where, thank goodness, I get to go and um, have a break. It's the pre-race pee, folks, and boy, do I really need it. Um, when I return, there will be about 50 minutes of racing action, 50% race distance, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Don't forget, uh, about three and a half minutes left on the bet. If you have yet to place your bet, Time's ticking away. I'm going to break away for a few. And I'll join you on the other side. For the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. I lost a follower, apparently. Can you go away now, please? I, there we go. I don't fancy the the shame being there the entire time. Right. Well, the prediction window has closed and uh, everyone's asleep. Uh, we've got one gambler, Giddy Fam, who's put 500 down on a p4 to p6 finish which i which i feel is kind of where it's going to be we'll see though we'll see what happens come the race i'm looking i'm looking forward to a a fun challenging but not dispiriting uh race coming up that's my dream. That's my hope. But now. And now. Uh, it's time to get myself all comfy and in, 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 the, uh, in the driving position. Just not that... Um... Oh, oh, what is that looped sound there in the background? Is everyone else focused in on it as much as I have? If not, now you will. Let's have it again. Oh, oh. What the flip is that? Best way to avoid it, of course, is to uh, get on with the race. So, here we go. Race strategy locked in. The formation lap and then um, a, a, a lot of actual laps. How many laps? What is it? 26. 26 laps. Coming up after that. Uh, let's have a good one. GLFH. Fun have. <laughs> GLHF. The, the moment's gone. The moment's gone. Here we go. Okay, so let's go through all the gears if you can. We need to make sure the engagement is okay before the start. We're going to want to put some temperature into the tyres and brakes. We need to keep the engine cool though, so don't go too high with the revs. Okay, so we need to not push the engine too much. It'll be a long old formation like this. 
Oh, oh. Um, breaks the warm. No rain expected for the time being. Well, thank goodness for that. This will be very slow coming up. Works are uh, quite warm, actually. Still need those tyres to sort themselves out. I wonder how good I'll be at parking this time round. There we go, now tyres and brakes look okay. This is going to be a pretty crucial start. That's the best parking I've ever done in this video game. So that's the rest of the grid forming up now. Be patient and watch Okay, here we go, folks. 26 laps from fifth on the grid. was very bad. <laughs> that was very bad. Much better, much better. Way less wheel spin, but... Oh, flipping heck. It's all a bit much, isn't it? Slow start. Right, back to fifth. Now let's go. Teammates fighting ahead. Oh, a bit of bumping. Here we go, then. All right, let's focus now for the rest of the race. Indeed. Whoop. Don't want too much of that. Can't have too many, too many of that. Right, Norris has already caught up. The energy stores depleting, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Oh, God. I'm wetting myself here. And I've just been to the toilet.
take that. Perez and Alonso battling behind. But now we've got Norris to worry about as the Ferraris have uh, sped on ahead. In fact, Norris is doing pretty well here. He's already a second ahead. Okay. I'm more worried now about the um, start finish straight than I was before the race, seeing how this is working out. I must improve my drive out on some of these turns. Jeez! Catching up. This is this is without DRS, by the way. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. I really need to focus on closing the gap to Lando, who is now 1.5 seconds ahead. Preston Alonso battling behind there. A bit too slow through there. Lando now 2.5. Oh, that's a second. Oh, late on the brakes. Flip. Right, hang on. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, that will not stand. There, look. Oi, 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 oi. All right, here we go. Does that drive out? Ray, there we go. That's fun, isn't it? We all enjoyed that. Perez is close to gap. That's where I'm losing all the time, right? And if the cars catch up to, to me and they're within a second at that point, they're within a second the whole way. And I'm making a pig's ear of it now, folks. It's getting sweaty. They close the gap at that point. They're holding that gap more or less for the rest of the lap. It'd be very difficult for me to increase the gap. Oh my god. Like I said, really sweaty. It's getting sweaty. Most I can hope for is to get DRS back, right? Try to keep focus. Gap to your teammate ahead is 9.1 seconds.
There it is. That's that's the best I can hope for is to get DRS back. So I'm outside of the top six. I've lost what uh, two places net. This hemorrhaging must end. Oh, Christ. <sighs> what did I do that for? Wrong button. Let's get through the turn. It's not good. I like qualifying. I like qualifying the most. I'm going to lose another position. I do not have DRS. I cannot defend. This is my worst nightmare. There won't even be a points finish at this rate. Ricardo is now only three, four tenths behind. Yes, man, have that. I need to think. Of another plan here. I think I'm having some downforce taken off my front wing when I pit. So I've taken it down two clicks from eight to six. Within a second of Alonso. So there is a DRS opportunity here as long as I don't smash into another flipping wall. Let's see if that makes any difference for us. That gap is not closing. As I've seen it close on me. So our straight line speed issues don't seem to have been fixed. With the updates so far. going to be difficult to stay in touch with Alonso here.
The drive out of there is awful. Yes, I need a strategy. I need to crunch into a wall too. It's my life's ambition. Look at this, so slow, the exit here. I'm too deep. Actually, that's not a bad right turn, right? But look, look how, look how much sharper Alonso takes this. A much sharper line. I think I'm turning too late. He's already turning left. And I'm way deeper than he is. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. They want to call me in early. Got that confirmed. Not a bad idea, really. I'm losing positions like crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Engine off, engine off. Do, 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 do. It's going to be that kind of an evening. At this rate, I'll be lucky to be finished by midnight. No DRS on Alonso, I drop back. Here comes Daniel Ricciardo. Try to stay with them. They might make a mistake and we could still regain the position. Gasly's closed up. Jeez Louise. Hello. Come on now. Oh, spin. Really not going well today, is it? Exclamation mark F1. on the brakes I'm what I'm trying to do is let's take these small little risks to close the gap but it's not working even there look there's contact Start losing some tire grip anytime now. I feel it already. <clears throat> Full race update. Okay, you're in ninth. Ninth position. It's Ricardo ahead of you. Okay, the gap is less than a second. Good. They're on old mediums. Gasly behind. Less than a second separates you. They're on old mediums. Our gap to first place is 18.1 seconds. Oh, that's rough. Pit window is going to open in three laps time. Pit window opens in three laps. You've got 20 laps left until the end. Bit of a DRS train opening up here. Ricardo has it on Alonso. I have it on Ricardo. Gasly has it on me. Pit window now, and you're going to be on hards next time.
Let's get some flipping rhythm into this race though, shall we? There's still time to make good. What's that? Crunch. Too slow, too slow, too slow. Oh man, you stuffed it. That was a lot of sideways. Ricardo now over a second ahead. Flip here, neck man. How do I catch up, you know? Oh, God. Set this on fire. All right, so I can't correct that. It's too late for that. So I now have to catch the breaking point, right? Okay, do we have a retirement? Is there a coming together an accident? A screen flag again now. So whatever's happened, it's over. Carlos Sainz has retired. So, up one position automatically. Back to P8. One point seven seconds now to Ricardo ahead. Driver in front. Ricardo ahead. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 1.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are eight laps old. We think they've got one more stop. Time last lap was a 1 minute 48.1. We're falling back by around 1.2 seconds a lap. Come on. <laughs> All right, Dad. Okay, lap 9. Lap 10 is just around the corner. We're pitting on lap 10. Okay, we want you to pit this lap, so push now, push. I'll do my best. No DRS.
I'm feeling the pressure. Still losing a lot of time through that section. Red Sector 2. And we're coming into the pits. Tweak on the front wing. Change of tyres. Oh, right. Let's make this work. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. <sighs> We're the first to pit by the looks of it. Let's put me out last. Everyone else will have to pit, right? So strategy complete. See these times. Have to hope this pays off. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. <laughs> My ego is bruised. Didn't know when control was being handed over. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, game over. <laughs> right. curb again get through here straighten up what I can't do is lose time I have to I have to chase the pack it's getting cloudier here The most I can hope for is on a fresh set of hards and everyone else is on really old mediums. Uh, as I can as I can make the most of every every corner. It's not working out so far. Point three. I'm not going to get in the DRS this time round. How many cars will be pitting on this lap? This is where we're, there's a couple there diving in. So up to 14th. Oh no, headache! Oh, Panda! The car behind you just come in for the hard tyres. Car behind, running hard tyres. Well, the soothing sound of F1 cars, so I'm sure, will make you feel very comfortable indeed. So I am racing for position with Vettel and Latifi here, although they will be pitting soon, I expect. 
the cars behind will be the ones that I'm really having to worry about. Gasly is within uh, DRS reach. Lewis Hamilton is in the pits. Lewis is in the pits now. I will get DRS here. Even if they come into the pits, which it looks like they might be. Let's see. Yeah. Alonso Ricardo ahead. Gasly up on behind. Looks like order is being restored. Who am I racing? Okay, our main competitors in this race are Ricciardo and Gasly. Crunch. Ah, yes. So, I forgot to mention, um, one of these sponsors on the Mercedes car is Crypto Exchange FTX. They're in a world of pain at the moment. Some information on Magnussen for you. Okay, they're out of this race. So they're still on the car in game, but, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're uh, off the car livery in real life this weekend. Multi-level marketing for tech pros. Anyways, we'll just put that to one side, shall we? And gap to the car in front is 2.6 seconds. Another purple sector one. So I'm making that stick, if nothing else. Those clouds are scaring me. Ricardo, 2.6 seconds ahead. Teammate status. We're currently trailing our teammate by 17.0 seconds. Okay, they're on fresh hards. They're in second. The last lap time was a 2 minutes 04.0. That'll improve. Because that was coming out of the pits. I thought I was going to hit the wall again. Oh, this could be a good lap. My fastest yet. You're pulling out a second a lap on the car behind. Really good stuff. That's good. It's eighth place though. I want to be at least in the top six. 
That's what I want to see. So there's some work to do here, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it. Started fifth, don't forget. Had a terrible start. Many cars managed to pull off the uh, their starting point, uh, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> starting base uh, quicker than I did. Grid position, grid spot, something like that, you know. Oh, if I could turn back time. Let's try and chase Ricardo down. Let's do something interesting, shall we? Gasly is no longer a threat. Alonso will be very difficult to find now. Ten laps left of the race. Okay, you're catching the car ahead, but remember, we need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. No, oh, thank you. I miss DRS. Okay, gap ahead is 2.2 seconds. Wee, what the fudge? Too many flashbacks in this race. Not as clean as I'd like. I find myself wondering, what if I went on the alternate strategy? That have helped at all. Lost a lot of time. I was ca I was gaining quite nicely on Ricardo there, but. Terrible. Pushing too hard through there. There's just I just I just don't think there's anything I can do. Oh shut your face. It's Ericsson's fault anyway. Weather report. No threat of rain for the time being. Conditions look good. Okay. okay dry seem like the best tyre for now. Well, that would make sense. The front is 2.2 seconds. Oh, please. To close that gap to Ricardo. Something has to happen here. Red shell, twisty rockets. Not twisty driving though. That's bad. We won't have it. Ah, 
absolute bollocks. I just don't, I just don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. I've been rocked, is what it is, right? And I'm, I can't quite pull myself back into the zone. Look, done it again. Done it again, man. Done it again, man. Get out of it. My God. Even there, look, what's what's happening today? Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, ne I'm never making this corner now, am I? <laughs> Jesus. That looked bad. Are you all right? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, made it through there. There's a grip issue here or something. Well, I mean, I have to get a grip. And every time I have an issue like that, I'm losing time to the car in front, and the car behind is closing in. Stop bumping stuff. Okay, gap to the car ahead is 3.1 seconds. No, it was 1.5 seconds not that long ago. I thought I was doing a good job. Strong, but be aware these tires need to go the distance. I've got some information on Alonso. They seem to have an issue. That would make my day. Might they retire? Or will they start to slow and uh, drop back perhaps into our grasp? At the moment, he seems not to be suffering. Not closing the gap on Ricardo by much, but... Gasly is now 1.8 seconds behind. Driver behind. Gasly's behind you. Okay, so the gap to the car behind is 2.1 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Their tyres are six laps old. And the time last lap was a 147.5. Front is 3.0 seconds. Gotta get some good laps here. Come on. I can get turns one and two done, no problem. I enjoy those. Three 
seconds is the gap between you and the next car. Three seconds. Yeah. Okay, that was better. We need to close that gap. About two seconds now. Oh man, that was rotten. Let's go. <laughs> Alonso is actually starting to drop back. No, please no. Come on. Come on, let's do this. Now, if Ricardo was catching Alonso, they may slow each other down a little bit while Ricardo looks to overtake. That that will help me close the gap. I've increased the gap to Gasly. One point five to Ricardo. Come on, let's do something here. Driver in front. It's Ricardo ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is one point six seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tires. Their tyres are eight laps old. The time last lap was a one minute forty seven point two. This is great. We're gaining by around nine tenths a lap. Keep it up. Just need to not bin the car so much. Yeah, that gap has closed big time. Alonso is dropping back. Tire condition still looking good. Yes, mate. We're closing in one point two. some time there I think ok 
Okay, this is tangible. There's going to be DRS coming up. As long as I don't hit stuff. Now we have a race on our hands, folks. Now we have a race. Sixth position is on the uh, is on the offing here. Not if I do that though. That's very bad. How many times have I wrecked the car? We're looking at we're looking at about half a dozen now, surely. DRS is coming up though, here we go. Ricardo is fighting Alonso, they're swapping positions, they're gonna defend hard into turn one. Keep managing your tires, manage your tires. There's opportunities to take advantage here. Good drive out, DRS, here it is. Okay, good work. Great pass. Alonso shouldn't have an answer for this if he's got a problem. So he'll drop back, which in turn will keep Gasly off my tail, which means I can focus on Ricardo, who I have been genuinely catching on pace. Not if I crunch stuff, it won't happen. Close that gap. 1.2 seconds now. I don't think I'll get DRS on this lap. Maybe the next one. Not quite. Also dropping back though. Got four laps of fuel remaining. It's me versus Ricardo then. Driver in front. Ricardo ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 1.2 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Their tyres are 11 laps old now. Your last lap time was a 1.48.2. Okay, we're dropping back by around four tenths a lap. Give it everything you got. Full race update. That's P7 now, P7, it's Ricardo ahead of you. Okay, gap to the car ahead is... <laughs> That's a bad run out of that turn anyway. Full race update. And you've got P7, 7th place, Ricardo ahead. And gap to the car in front is 1.2 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. That's Alonso behind. Okay, the gap behind is 1.2 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. They've got some kind of mechanical problem. The distance to the leader is 35.5 seconds. Your pit window is open. Pit window currently open. For what? Let's chase and Ricardo, come on.
put the pressure on. Your teammate head is 22.9 seconds. Okay, Gasly has uh, passed Alonso. Closing in on Ricardo. Starting to lose that grip. The turns are getting harder. Oh, we got a much better drive out than I did. <laughs> wow, I this is a very flashback heavy race. This is not the kind of performance I want to see, but this has been really tough. There's a place to end up. Lost a lot of time. I don't think at this rate I'm going to get him. I'm not closing that gap. I'm not getting into the DRS. Front wing damage. Uh, will you not do that, please? Oh, man. This has not been good. Mm. Oh, no. It's like I'm going to fall into this seventh Lap 25 for 26. I'm not able to close the gap to Ricardo. Gasly, hopefully, far back enough that he won't be a threat. This has not been a good race. I mean, when you think that I. When I started um, from fifth on the grid, had a really poor start actually. Managed to get myself back up to fifth. But that first stint, that first stint on the uh, medium tyres.
Everyone was uh, picking me apart. Our gap to the car in front is 2.1 seconds. Can he have a problem, please? Oh dear God, what am I doing? Terrible. Look at that. Three seconds ahead now. I'm overdriving. These tyres are done. What I really need to be mindful of now is keeping Gasly behind, right? Trying to keep this clean for the one more lap. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Pretty Pretty much on the money with fuel burn. That strategy worked out well. I knew what the f what fuel I was going to use. What if what if all the F1 cars blew up, apart from mine? If all the F1 cars ahead of me on the final lap just blew up. That's what we want now. Explodey cars. Wee. Oh. Just survive, man. Just survive. Come on. Likes to flag victory then for Max Verstappen. Gasly is now within DRS. a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. Easily half a dozen. Well, what happened? Let me know you're okay. Oh, a terrible, just a terrible drive out of here, right? Oh God, just, can this be over? Wee! I've got no hope, he's got no chance.
Yes, man! <laughs> I've had it. I just don't want this anymore. My worst, absolute worst nightmare. They're in DRS range. So ends another Azerbaijan Grand Prix. A fascinating race and a well-deserved victory. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Now, let's take a look at the driver's standings. Max Verstappen now leads the driver's championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalize on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. Let's move on to the constructors. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. Meanwhile, Alpha Tauri's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Okay. It fell apart, didn't it? The the race fell apart, and that's a real shame. It didn't have to be that way. Unlike Monaco, where it is an absolute nightmare of a circuit to drive around at all times, what what Baku does is it gives and it takes away, and there's periods of time where you feel like. Hang on a minute. I'm getting the hang of this. 
I, th I think I'm getting better. But each lap, there's just something that doesn't go quite right. And there are a couple, two or three key points where if you're not in exactly the right spot at exactly the right time, you're going to mess up and you're going to mess up bad. And if you do that in one lap, you think, okay, I, I just about survived that. I hope it doesn't happen on the next lap. But lap after lap after lap after lap. A little mistake here, a little mistake there. You lose a couple of tenths, you lose three tenths, five tenths. The car's behind the catching up. If you're not on that... Right on the cusp. Right on that ridge between the two points of danger. Riding that fine line, that edge. You're done for. I started this race in fifth after qualifying sixth. Sergio Perez dropped back with a five place penalty. Lost some positions, managed to pull back to fifth. For a while there, it looked like as Alonso was falling back with a technical issue and both myself and Ricardo were catching up, it felt like sixth was very, very likely. I think the chase, the pressure of that chase put me into a position where I was making error after error after error and then in the final lap there was just nothing I could do. The, the mistakes were so many that the flashbacks were not giving me any wiggle room. And uh, as, as has been proved many, many times, this circuit does that job. If you get a couple of corners wrong and your exit speeds aren't quite right, and that's all happening, just as you're about to go on to one of the longest and fastest straights of that circuit and of the season. There's nothing you can do. There's no crafty driving. There's no defensive actions that you can make. Your exit speed was shocking. It's going to take you a lot longer to hit top speed, by which point these other suckers behind you have got you. And that's how I dropped from 7th to 9th on, on the last lap. Horrible feeling. First half of that race was difficult. But after the early pit stop on lap 10, things started to kind of settle and I thought, this is okay, we could be looking at a decent finish. Did not end that way. Max Verstappen likes to flag victory. Lewis Hamilton from second finishes second. Charles Leclerc from third finishes third. Very boring up the front then by the looks of things. And it was Fernando Alonso who started seventh. Dropped down to 11th. It was Carlos Sainz, by the way, who started 4th and had a mechanical failure. And me dropping from 5th down to 9th that gave Lando Norris, Sergio Perez, Daniel Ricciardo, Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon a real chance at some big serious points. I thought maybe I could come away with 8, maybe 6 World Championship points. That did not happen. Very disappointing outcome. Very disappointing outcome. So let's look at the highlights of that disappointment, shall we? From fifth on the grid.
a slow start. Um, immediately Alonso overtakes me before we even get to turn one. Lots of battling here. There's a, one of the many bumps. That one uh, didn't cause anything to snap off. So this is after the pit stop. Will I be bumping something again? Let's listen. Actually, no, not that time. Oh, a helicopter shot. Very nice. Oh look, bumping stuff. There we go. That's that's the uh, that's the highlights. Oh, he, he missed up another turn again. Each time you do something like that and you, you lose a bit of speed, it hurts, man. Yep, another bump. Jesus, really showing me all of my mistakes, all the things I'd care to forget. Thanks, game. You absolute bastard. It was a fun bit. I almost felt like I was really, really racing a real race, like a real race driver car racer. Of course, Alonso was um, easy pickings because of his mechanical issues. But at this point, I was close to Ricardo. I thought it was only a matter of time. It's a matter of time, I'll chase that Ricardo down. An error here, an error there, and he was just streaming away. There was a point where um, I was closing that gap again. We were at 1.5 seconds, and I thought, hello. That could be a glorious victory. Even here, look, I'm close. And in two laps, the whole thing is an absolute disaster. The worst, worst final lap. Five. That's about the size of it. There was, the, the, I think, the, the worst thing about today, and it's one of the worst things about life in general, it's the hope. It's the hope that gets you. Let's have a look at the standings after... Round eight. Well, Skip remains in 10th place in the driver's standings. Um, he could have been a lot closer, in fact, to Esteban Ocon with a, uh, a fifth or sixth place finish. Because uh, Esteban would have been behind, I think. As it is, only two additional points uh, means that... Um, very lucky, to be honest. Very lucky to not even have Gasly go past me today. Tenth in the driver's standings. Almost, almost, but not quite. 100 points behind my teammate. Max Verstappen takes the lead of the driver's standings in his ongoing battle with Ferrari Charles Leclerc. Verstappen with 177 points, just 10 points between them. And then a massive gap back to Carlos Sainz, who had a nightmare today. Did not finish, scored no points. Lewis Hamilton, second place, good for him, 105. Um, another couple of good races for him, and he's up in the top three. Sergio Perez, good race. Um, uh, keeping the dream alive uh, for Red Bull, no doubt. But another disappointing weekend for Skip is not good for the constructors' standings. Let's check in. Ferrari still taking the lead, but Red Bull, by having two cars finish versus Ferrari's one, it's closing that gap, isn't it? Red Bull, not that far away, surely. A couple of races away, maybe, from leading the constructors' standings. Mercedes looking very vulnerable in their third spot. 
both McLarens finished ahead of Skip today. And that's why we see only five points between those two teams. So it's all on me. It's all on me to to uh, start getting better at uh, scoring points consistently. I think I might have an idea that'll help there. Um, but yeah, rough. Very rough. Um, a quick check in with the race director. I'm sure there must have been a warning or two. Yep. A wrap on the knuckles. Uh, knuckles. A wrap on the knuckles. In fact for colliding with Alonso on lap one, uh, probably around turns one and turn two, because it was all kicking off around there. Uh, otherwise, not too bad. Carlos Sainz with the mechanical failure on lap nine. Kevin Magnussen. Um, DNF on lap 13. Unlucky for some. Pit strategies pretty much across the board. Look, mediums to hards. Can you, can you imagine I may have been faster on a soft medium medium? Um, would I have been able to finish in the top 10 with that strategy? Uh, don't know. Very, very, uh, very hard to imagine how things could have played out differently on uh, basically being the only person doing a two-stopper. Just doesn't make sense. And that's it, folks. That is round eight. That is the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. That is another very hard circuit done and dusted. I thought we were going to have a better one. Turns out Yes, I got a couple of points, but the potential the potential was there and it was not uh, it was not delivered upon. Still some driver acclaim. Lucky me. Not taken away as in Monaco. Back to team headquarters. And an event immediately. The chassis department has requested my attendance at today's meeting here on Monday the 13th of June uh, to help them resolve an issue. And in fact, it's not very long, is it? I mean, we're only days away from the Canadian Grand Prix here. Very little opportunity to, uh, to, to, to take many decisions. Ferrari have just snuck ahead here. Worried about all of that situation there, folks. There's 2,511 development points here to spend. Let's deal with this meeting first. Let's see what the outcome of this is, and uh, then I'll see if I can uh, 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 schedule an upgrade. The time spent in the simulator was worthwhile, but the chassis department was disappointed you couldn't make the meeting. That's That was the outcome from the decision before. Their disappointment has affected their morale. Man up! Ninth place finish has affected my morale, but I'll be back next week trying just as hard. Ten percent flipping egg man. What kind of operation is this? Losers. Conflicting meetings, what it was, was there was a scheduled... This, my rationale was there was a scheduled meeting with the chassis team. Who no doubt are now going to screw up the fuel tank positioning thing that is currently on order. Um, but there was an impromptu ad hoc requirement. That required my attention at the simulator. So I thought, you know what? A regular meeting is a regular meeting. What if, there, what if something here in the simulator is going to... Uh, 
Open new doors. I felt like that was a good decision. Some, some, some flipping ass wipes in chassis. Oh, their morale. What do you think, lads? 12, 15%? I don't know, it's his first defense. Maybe 10? Oh, look, chassis. They're, they're actually bet best place out of all of them. There's a zero percent and and zero, uh, yeah, zero percent on both failure and build time modifier. That is, uh, we've got minus one and minus two on aero, minus one and minus two on power. I mean, these these are beneficial, right? This is the lowest of the lot. But anyway, there are suggestions being made here. Let's have a look at them. The recommended update to spend my 2,511 resource points on is tyre blankets. A new specification of carbon sheet resistive tyre blankets heat the tyres more evenly, better preparing them for the sessions ahead. As a result, overall tyre wear is decreased. Holy flip. Could be good. Could be good. Not many developments that have gone onto the tyre wear, to be fair. Uh, we've got cockpit weight reduction. Uh, lightweight foam, that helps. Fuel tank positioning is on the way. Massive, massive increase if that's a success. What else have we got uh, to concern ourselves with here, by the way? What do we have discounts on? MGH, improved materials. I don't think there's been much development on the H. Small, though, small benefits. Same with powertrain. What about aero? So it looks to me like aero and, and chassis is where it's at. I, uh, I think I'm going to offer wing mirrors here. Or maybe front wing main plane. Let's, let's focus on aero. Front wing main plane. As long as I don't crunch it into walls, of course. Uh, a redesign of the front wing main plane increases downforce and extends further development possibilities. I like it. it can be turned around by the 22nd to the 30th of June. I want it. So, it'll be in place. I'm not going to rush this one. It'll be, there's no point. Um, it'll be in place by Silverstone. That's in the bag. That is in the bag. 1,011 development... Development points left. Wing mirrors. Increases... Uh, enhances, in fact, the aerodynamic properties to re uh, reduce turbulence and thus reducing drag. Uh, could be a good one. And in fact, I've, I've, I've spent everything else right, so. So I could be working on MGUH. I mean, yes, you make a good point there, Five, about the tire wear, but I think I will want to see them complete what they're working on before I, I give them anything else to do. Um, let's go with the wing mirrors. Aero improvements as well as weight reduction um, are two things that are really going to help us here. So, again, delivered by Silverstone. Good aero improvements will bring us in line with uh, Red Bull. So two aero developments in the bag, only 32 resource points left. That's not even enough for a Twix. So we're done.
Let's hope for some good stuff coming up then. And we'll advance time, it'll take us to the 16th of June as we head to Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. Fun, a fun circuit, an enjoyable drive. Some real high speed sections. Nothing quite as awkward though as the last two circuits we've been on. This is still a bit, a bit street circuity in places. Isn't quite the runoff that you'd like to see at uh, at, at other autodromes, but um, it's okay. But it's been another long evening, hasn't it? <coughs> My goodness. It's been a long one. I need to hydrate. Folks. My apologies. It's It's been another long stream. It's been another difficult race. It's been another disappointing result. It requires, I think, some drastic measures. Where am I going? Uh, da -ba -da -ba -dum. Yep. Now, I know that we've been at two incredibly difficult races. But I think we need to reset ourselves a little bit here. The F1 season to date has been at the AI difficulty of 65. That's in the hard setting region. I've now dropped it back down to 55, which is where we were racing in F2. That is the high end of medium difficulty. That should hopefully make it a little bit easier. <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna make the same mistakes, right? But hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to race other cars and not be completely abandoned. So that is a, a return to an earlier setting and um, I'll be looking to race at least a couple of rounds at uh, 55 um, before making another judgment on whether uh, increasing that from 55 to 65. But I think it's necessary this, uh, this far in, about a third of the way into the season. Um, to give uh, give myself maybe a little of extra help just so we don't end up having a flipping miserable <laughs> miserable run <laughs> let's have some fun and some success maybe this will help a little bit so from next week uh, Sunday 5.30pm UK time it'll be the Canadian Grand Prix back on medium settings uh, on AI difficulty that is um, so maybe it'll be a little bit easier to um, battle with and, uh, and kind of keep up to date with um, the other cars around me in the field. That is it, though, for tonight. Um, another difficult evening, a disappointing evening, a long evening. Um, but such is life. F1 indeed, as Five said, is a harsh business. 
And uh, uh, Giddy Fam has tapped into the um, words of the inimitable Murray Walker that F1 is if backwards. If a number and the letter I are considered the same. A small stretch of the imagination, but I think if you play with it, you know, it, 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 can, be, it can be accepted. I think. That's it then, folks. Uh, thank you very much for joining me uh, this week for another F1 adventure. Let's hope for some uh, something a little bit more in enjoyable and rewarding next week, Sunday, 5.30pm UK time, round 9 of 22, the Canadian Grand Prix. P? Yes, a Grand P will be had before the Grand Prix. Flip a neck, it's late, but do join me next week, won't you?